93 million miles from Earth, the surface of the sun pumps out vast amounts of heat and light into space. Occasionally, huge explosions throw out much more than this. These are solar storms. When these storms hit Earth, they have little effect on living things. But the vast global network that supports our lives can act as a conductor, channeling the destructive energy of the storm and knocking out all electrical power. New York, like the rest of the world, takes technology for granted. Its lifeblood is electricity, and it uses vast amounts of it. Two or three days without it is a nuisance, but months or years is unthinkable. The loss of power in a massive scale thrusts us back to an era before technology, at a time when we're entirely dependent on it. The global economy, health systems, communications, and essentials like light and heat would all collapse if, as scientists predict, the Earth is hit by the perfect solar storm. We just got another 911 about a disturbance in the cemetery. I needed to make a progress report on that. All officers... It will start with a mysterious object from space crashing through the atmosphere at 18,000 miles per hour. Anybody seen that? Did you, did you guys see what I saw? the patrol supervisor and the fire department to respond to an unknown object. Something really weird is going on here. But this is only a warning of what is to come. Solar storms are nothing new. Several hit Earth every year. Most are completely harmless bringing us the northern and southern lights. But our increasing reliance on technology makes us more susceptible to the damage the big ones can cause. In most natural disasters, it's usually the less developed areas that suffer the biggest impacts. There's a big irony with space weather or geomagnetic storms. It's our sophisticated technology systems that has created this big antenna that couples so well uh, to the space environment and ends up being our undoing. In 1989, this weakness became painfully evident when the people of Quebec, Canada were hit by a solar storm. They went from normal operating conditions to complete blackout of six million people in about 90 seconds. The storm only affected the far north. When the power went out, the accidents increased. With no light and no heat and temperatures just above freezing, Quebec was lucky it only lasted nine hours. If the right conditions were to align, the perfect storm will be three times as powerful. For the citizens of New York, unaware of the danger out in space, today is just another day. Hey, I'm Peter Wright from Brooklyn Power. I'm here to check on your power outage. You called it in? Italian. This thing was on fire. Almost killed me. But what is it? I don't know. Looks like a satellite. Any chance you got anything you can throw over it? You mean for like a dead body? Well, it goes with the neighborhood. You don't want the media to get a look at this yet either. Okay, I'll see what I got.
This smoldering wreckage is the result of a chain of events that started during a period of increased activity on the surface of the sun, called the solar maximum. Looking at the perfect solar storm, we have to start with the right conditions. Uh, the sun is a magnetic variable star. It goes through a 22-year magnetic cycle with intense sunspots being strongest every 11 years. During the solar cycle maximum, there's a much larger chance for there being massive solar storms. The Earth has been under bombardment from the sun for over a week now. The upper atmosphere has become so electrically charged that anything orbiting above it is in danger. This swelling, this heating of the Earth's atmosphere takes place at all longitudes at the same time as these currents circle the Earth. So satellite orbits, all of them, all satellites that are in low Earth orbit can be impacted by this solar storm. The atmosphere is now so swollen that it rises into the path of satellites, upsetting their orbit and causing them to rocket back to Earth. Good morning, New York. It's another sunny day on this November morning. As the rest of New York wakes up, the significance of these events will be hard for city emergency managers to assess. So we can confirm that this thing's a satellite, right? Yes, sir. Uh, we've been tracking it for some time here at Norad. Yeah, well, can somebody tell me why we're having satellites crashing out of the sky? Yeah, the sun's building up something really big, and it's throwing lots of stuff our way. Anything in low Earth orbit is going to be vulnerable right now. All right. I'm heading to the cemetery now to check it out. Thanks for the info. Okay. The people monitoring the sun are from NOAA, the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration. At their Space Environment Center in Colorado, they have been keeping a watch out for unusual space weather since 1965. The moment they spot trouble, they issue warnings to everyone from satellite operators to the military. High on the priority list for space weather warnings are local power stations. All on level one, station supervisor. Tara Bradshaw, Systems Control. Hey, Tara, it's Peter. Peter, thank God. I just got something from NOAA. There's been a nasty solar storm, and there's more heading in our direction. Yeah, I've been trying to get through to you for the past half hour. It's probably the reason why the cell phone networks are acting up. Listen, it was a satellite that blew out the power here. Do you have any more information on the storm? Uh, nothing specific, but reading between the lines, I'd say Noah's excited about something. Could you do me a favor and have that uh, data sent to my phone? Sure. Uh, could you also send a repair crew out here, and I'll call you back? You got it, boss. All right, bye. Perfect Disaster returns after this. unusually strong storm on the sun has begun to affect life on earth normal solar activity is rarely felt as the earth protects us with its own magnetic field the magnetosphere but this has a limit during one of these strong magnetic storms that hammer-like blast strips part of the earth's magnetic field back compresses it leaving us very little remaining shield the right conditions are coming together for a perfect solar storm. First, the week-long bombardment due to the solar maximum has left our protective shield highly vulnerable. Now, a sunspot bigger than Jupiter erupts on the sun's surface, unleashing a billion-ton electrified gas cloud, a coronal mass ejection, or CME. This is the big one, and it is heading for Earth. 